Finding a good system for insurance verification can be hard for dental teams. If you don't have a good system in place, patient to office communications can suffer. And this can cause more denied claims from insurance companies. But in this video, you will learn five tips that will help your dental team streamline their insurance verification process. Insurance verification can be a little mindless and repetitive. For this reason, many dental practices struggle to find a streamlined process for insurance verification. And if this system isn't streamlined, it can negatively affect your collections percentage. At Dental Claim Support, we see how offices improve their entire billing process by perfecting this first step. It's typically one of the first things our billers see and they'll notice when the office is struggling with it. Getting this process right can directly result in collecting more money from insurance claims. It also keeps your patients happy with clear communication about their insurance benefits. Let's get into it right now. And by the end of this video, you'll know five tips for streamlining your insurance verification. Tip number one, start early, two business days before the scheduled visit. One of the biggest factors that affect dental insurance verification, time. You need at least a few days between scheduling the appointment with your patient and taking the time to look up their insurance benefits. Ideally, you'd be able to do this right after you got all their information from when they made the initial phone call about scheduling their appointment. But life and work happen. You might get another call and the patient may ask you a question that pushes the insurance verification back. So make sure you at least get this step done two days before the scheduled visit. This will give you time to read their full breakdown, understand it, and see if there's any additional information you need from the patient before their visit. Keep in mind, if you don't need additional information, the patient might not answer the phone the first time you call. So you need to leave a window for them to listen to your voicemail and call you back. If you don't leave plenty of time to verify dental insurance benefits, there's a risk of them arriving the day of their appointment and being told they will have a bill larger than they expected. Or perhaps you need additional information from personal documents that they didn't bring with them. This will make for an unhappy patient and you can avoid this by clarifying any insurance information before their visit. Tip number two, use a form or process that helps you collect patient data quickly. The information you need from patients when you do have the initial phone call needs to be easy to collect. It includes several numbers such as name of insurance provider, member ID number, member date of birth, patient date of birth, if different than the member, name of employer, group ID number, and telephone number of the insurance. Because so much of this is numbers based, it's easy to mess up. Writing down these numbers is probably not the best strategy for keeping up with these patients' data. You need to have an online form you can easily update patient information as needed. Some offices use an Excel spreadsheet. If their address or their insurance provider changes, you can easily go into their chart in your dental software and update it. And online patient forms are easy to scan in or upload to your dental software. If there's an option that helps you work more efficiently, you should take advantage of it. Tip number three, get a full breakdown of benefits when necessary. We mentioned this in tip number one, you need to have access to each patient's full breakdown of insurance benefits. This means you have a detailed summary of the patient's insurance plan. Full breakdowns indicate which dental procedures are covered benefits, at what percentage they are covered, if the patient already used any benefits elsewhere, what the patient's plan maximum is, and much more. Knowing the full breakdown of the patient's benefits can help you communicate what the patient's out-of-pocket expense will be and what you can expect to collect from the insurance claim you will file after their appointment. You don't need a full breakdown of every single time a regular patient comes in, but it's smart to always ask the patient before they come in if any information has changed since their last visit. Not only should you be collecting insurance information, but you should also be keeping up with it and making sure everything is the same from the previous visit. Tip number four, use the same information for each family member. So let's say you have a parent call to make a dental appointment for their child. More than likely, this child is under the same insurance as the person calling and making the appointment. You can easily use the information from the parent to also verify the child's insurance information. There's no need to get a full breakdown for each person individually 
if they're covered by the same plan. There is a caveat. Don't forget about coordination of benefits or COB rules. Unfortunately, not everyone's family is seamlessly all under one insurance plan. If a child is under separate insurance than the one of the parent, then you need to take COV rules into account or else your claim could be denied. You can watch that 10 rules of COB here. For the most part though, as long as you ask all the right questions about the child's insurance during the initial phone call, you should have all the information you need. If it's the same as the parent already in your system, great. If it's different, just make sure to verify the insurance plan, just like you would anyone else. Tip number five, verify the patient's dental insurance minimum. For returning patients with no insurance changes that year, save time by checking that returning patients have the same coverage and are still eligible and that their annual maximum used is up to date. The vast majority of your patients will let coverage dollars go to waste. It's up to you to remind them to take care of their dental needs while coverage is available. Unfortunately, insurance benefits don't roll over into the next year. If you don't use it, you lose it. Verifying your patient's dental insurance minimum can be done while reading their full breakdown. It's important the person reading the patient's full breakdown can understand it. They should be able to advise the patient on how to best use their benefits. This creates a trusting relationship between your patient and your dental team. It helps give your patient a heads up if they are about to max out their benefits or if they should consider using more of their benefits before the end of year. You are now equipped with the five best tips for streamlining your insurance verification process. These steps will help your team follow best practices to make this process easy and seamless, for your patient communication to be better, and for you to have less denied claims from insurance companies. Got insurance billing headaches? One call cures them all. Hit this button right here to schedule a call with us here at Dental Claim Support. Thanks for watching, and as always, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos.